Are you looking for a travel trailer toy hauler? Well, we found some really cool models that we reviewed, like this one that has bunk beds in it. So stick around, folks. You're going to want to see this. Hi, guys. Mike from RV Blogger here in front of the camera, and Susan's behind the camera. And today we're going to be talking about travel trailer toy haulers and we found some really cool models that we've gone ahead and reviewed now if this is your first time visiting our YouTube channel welcome aboard we make lots of YouTube videos all about RVing and we also have our website rvblogger.com where we literally have hundreds of articles all about RVing as well so today we're taking a look at travel trailers with toy haulers and we found a lot of really neat designs we found toy haulers with bunk beds in them toy haulers with Murphy beds all kinds of different floor plans and layouts so let's get started taking a look at them right now so this is the Intec Flyer Explore 10.6 toy hauler travel trailer this baby is meant to go off-road it you can fit a really nice size ATV in here or motorcycle no problem but one of the really coolest features I like about this particular travel trailer toy hauler is the pop-out feature. I haven't seen this very often on a, on a travel trailer toy hauler. It's kind of like a hybrid toy hauler. Um, but as you guys know, as, as an old tent camper, I just have a, a spot in my heart for the pop-out style because you can sleep here and it feels like you're sleeping in a tent. Zip down all three and you have a nice mesh awning all around you and you just get that real outdoorsy tent feel when you're sleeping, uh, which I particularly love. But anyway, it also maximizes the space that you have available in here and um, it opens up really, really nice. Towards the front of the RV, you have some countertop space. Uh, the outdoor kitchen actually slides in under this and we'll take a look at that in a minute. And then you have some storage overhead as well um, there's also a very large door on the other side, and we'll, we'll take a look at that when we go outside to see the kitchen area. So here we are outside, and you can see that door that I mentioned before. This is a really wide door opening, much wider than most doorways that we see. So that's a nice feature, we think, especially if you're trying to carry heavy gear inside and out. As you can see, it is set up for off-roading, and it's got the larger tires, the larger wheels, uh, really nice ground clearance as well. And then you have your sort of outdoor kitchen set up. They have a Dometic fridge here as well. And the one thing that kind of strikes me odd is that the stovetop sort of faces the wrong way. It actually opens this way. And you have a two burner uh, stovetop in here. It just seemed to me maybe the lid should open this way. Maybe it's reversible although I don't really see how, especially with the control knobs in here and everything. So, I don't know, that's a bit bizarre to me. But uh, anyway, it's got everything that you need for your outdoor kitchen area. Up top, it does come with the Rhino rack system, and it's got a Batwing awning also that comes out. So, uh, pretty complete setup, really nice uh, trailer. I might have forgotten to mention the size of it, it's uh, 1,930 pounds. It is 16 feet long. Um, and width-wise, it goes to 15 feet 6 inches from the end of the kitchen opening to the far end of the pop-up opening. So when it's fully open, six, uh, 15 uh, feet 6 inches wide. So we really like this model for a toy hauler because it's got the pop-out feature, something we normally don't see. So pretty cool pop-up, pretty cool travel trailer toy hauler we think so this particular travel trailer with a toy hauler is a Forest River Salem FSX it weighs just under 5,000 pounds and I think it's about 27 feet long let me find my little picture it's 28 feet long so uh, good size travel trailer it's nice that it's under 5,000 pounds because more vehicles can tow it that way but the way this one is set up is that the toy hauler section, which I'm standing in, is also the dinette area and a secondary sleeping area. And the toy hauler section extends all the way into the kitchen. There are floor mounted rings here where you can use those to hold down an ATV, a motorcycle, 
whatever you're going to have. So this is really making the most of the space that's available. Uh, but when you use the whole entire kitchen area, it looks like you have about 16 feet of storage space in this particular toy hauler. Uh, the ramp does go down and you can form a deck in that ramp area, which is also a nice feature to have. Kitchen area is, you know, pretty basic inline kitchen setup. It's got a nice deep single bowl sink. It's got a three burner range, small oven, microwave over top, you know, an adequate amount of storage space and then a separate refrigerator and freezer. So from this particular angle, now Susan and I have switched spots, you can see that it has an entertainment center, built-in fireplace, and you would mount your TV right above it here. So, you know, good amount of space for everything. And then going this way, we'll head on into the bedroom and through the bathroom area and check that out as well. Okay, so when you first walk in the bathroom, you can see you've got a nice corner shower set up here with glass doors that slide around. Very nice setup. To the left over here, we have a medicine cabinet, single bowl vanity with storage down below. Plenty of room there. And then this is really kind of different. It's got a little uh, like alcove set up for the commode. So you're sort of away from the rest of the bathroom, but I kind of like the way it's set up. And then on the other side of this door is where we'll head into the master bedroom, which we're going to go to next. So the master bedroom is a good setup. It has a real size queen size bed for all you folks out there that get upset about real size or short queens or all that this is a real queen size bed it has both uh, both sides have a mirror storage cabinet on both sides of the bed and then it's got some storage over top as well but this is a walk around queen bed pretty much there's a little bit of a wheel well in the way but you should be able to get in and out of bed okay without disturbing your partner on the other side. So all in all, the Salem FSX is a very efficient design. It's a little bit on the lighter end of the trailer, of the um, travel trailer toy haulers, uh, but all in all, it makes a good use of the space that's available. This particular travel trailer with a toy hauler is the Forest River Microboost XLR. And it's about just under 29 feet long. It weighs about 4,100 pounds, but it's got a very different floor plan than some of the other toy haulers that we've been in. Now, as you can see behind me here, the deck folds out, uh, which would be the ramp, but it has deck rails around it, so you can use that area for additional space. It also has a screen that would come down and screen off you know, the inside of the trailer from outside. It, it's got a dinette area here, but it has a movable table, which would just slide into place between these two dinette areas. And then everything folds up and out of the way so that whatever your toy is that you're hauling can roll right up and you actually store it into the kitchen area. So it makes the most of the available space. This has a basic inline kitchen. It's got a nice big deep single bowl sink, which I really like. Uh, really nice cabinetry in here as well two burner stove, microwave overhead, and then of course it's got a fridge and a separate freezer above. Okay, so the bathroom in here is very, very basic. It's basically just a shower and a commode. No sink is in the bathroom at all, so I guess you just have to wash your hands out in the kitchen sink, but it's a pretty big sink, so you should have plenty of room to do that. Now, I'm standing in the shower here. I am five feet, 11 inches tall, and if I Stand up as straight as I can. I'm just barely touching the ceiling with my hair. So if you're six feet tall, that's probably going to be it because I have my shoes on. So that probably adds about an inch to me. So uh, not a whole lot of headspace if you're taller than six feet inside this shower. So next, let's take a look at the master bedroom and the really cool design they have in there. So here we are in the bedroom area and I'm actually sitting on a couch. This is sort of like a pseudo Murphy bed type setup because the bed is back behind me here. And then they even have a fireplace in your bedroom back here. So it's kind of cozy and, and nice. Um, very, di very different setup from what we normally see. The Murphy bed is very basic. It's just got this clip that holds it up and it just folds right down. Now, this looks to be a short queen bed and you have to sleep side to side in here, not head to toe. So it's a different setup. 
So whoever's sleeping on that side is going to have to, you know, if they have to get out of bed in the middle of the night, going to have to do the old climb over routine. But for uh, a small size travel trailer with a toy hauler, it's a very unique design and uh, we really like the way they make use of the space. This is a Rockwood Geo Pro travel trailer with a toy hauler. This is the 19.1 model, which means it's 20 feet long and it weighs about 3,400 pounds. As you can see, out back here we have our ramp down and that leads you right into the toy hauler park. So come on in, let's check it out. Once inside this toy hauler, this area where your toys would store is very, very multifunctional. Not only is it your garage for your toy hauler, but it's also your dinette area, it's also your living room, and it's your bedroom at night. You're going to have to fold these down and use them as your beds in the evening. So this travel trailer, although it's small, you get a lot of use in a small space. Kitchen area, also very compact. You've got three burner stove, there's no oven or anything like that to cook a pizza in, but you do have a microwave. It's got a small bar style sink, and then it's got plenty of room for storage and things like that above and below. One weird thing about this toy hauler is that the refrigerator is sort of outside of the kitchen, but it's in between like where you might be hanging out in the dining area and the kitchen, so maybe that's not so bad after all. And then you have a little TV right here above it so you can enjoy some TV while you're hanging out as well. The bathroom in this travel trailer is, you know, pretty decent size. It's kind of got a tub in it as well. I'm standing in here. I'm 5 feet 11 inches tall and I'm, I'm hitting the ceiling with my head. So if I don't stay in the middle of this skylight here, I'm going to hit my head on the ceiling. But it's got a decent vanity, a little bit of storage space on both sides of it. And as far as elbow room and the commode goes, I would say you don't really have much at all. But, hey, for a small travel trailer under 3,500 pounds that's a toy hauler, I think you have everything you need in here. This travel trailer with a toy hauler is a Forest River Rogue model, and it weighs 7,738 pounds, and it's about 35 feet long. In the back here, of course, we have our garage area, um, and this back door can, which is also the ramp, will become a deck. You can see the deck rails right here. Both of these beds or sofas will jackknife out into beds and then we also have a bed above. So there's plenty of room for sleeping in here. One thing I don't really like about this garage is that it's not very separate from the rest of the RV at all. And it doesn't really have a rubber floor. They just sort of ran the, the linoleum flooring out into the garage area so I'd be a little worried about wear and tear there but there is a lot of space I mean you know this garage comes all the way back to here so I would say you've got about 13 feet of space uh, which can hold you know pretty good size ATV or motorcycle whatever you'd want to put in here the kitchen area in this travel trailer is pretty nice shape it's a big L-shaped kitchen it's got a nice uh, gooseneck faucet Big giant single bowl sink, which is sort of like a farmhouse sink. It's pretty nice. And I like the countertop material as well. Rolls around to a three burner range, small oven, and then a microwave over top. But there's plenty of cabinet space, plenty of pantry space for storage. So overall, it's a pretty good layout. Right across from the kitchen area, we have our separate fridge and freezer, and then more cabinet space and storage space as well. Let's take a look inside the bathroom, which also leads back to the master bedroom as well. So this bathroom is a pretty comfortable size, really good size shower stall. I have plenty of room to move in here. I like the glass doors that roll around, so it makes a good use of the space. Also in here, the vanity has a medicine cabinet over top. Very small vanity and sink, but that's okay. I wish it was a little bigger. And then as far as the commode goes, you know, does okay on the elbow test, certainly more room on one side than the other. Inside the master bedroom, there are two entrances here. One is just coming from the kitchen area. The other comes through the bathroom, uh, which is very nice and convenient. It's got a good queen size bed back here. This is a full queen. And then it's got storage on both sides of the bed and all the way across over top. One other nice feature about this master bedroom is that it has its own separate entrance as well. One other really cool feature about this particular travel trailer toy hauler is the way that you could fit a side-by-side -side in here and 
how the slide-in adapts around the side-by-side -side to get a really large vehicle in here. And we have Bradley Short here with us from Forest River who's going to show us how that works. So you've got 16 feet, right, from the back to the front. Yep. And in order to not have to sacrifice any of that footage, right, the sofa floats flat and the floor of the slide comes up. So when the slide room comes in, that will surround and accommodate right the the wheel of the side by side yeah it creates right? a u-shape right around right. the wheel so if you've got <clears throat> if you've got something aftermarket or something factory or something fancy or if you simply have something stock you're not giving up any space in the garage at all yeah right in fact you could pull a smaller vehicle up further and put something else behind correct. it correct so, so that, you really maximize your space that way right a lot of a lot of guys will bring a side by side in and then they'll bring in a like a four by or a, a, a quad and then they'll jack it this way right and can get everything in there there you go very cool this is a really really awesome feature it's the first one we've seen like this in any of the trailer uh travel trailer toy haulers that we've looked at so far so really nice job by forest river thank you thanks brad this travel trailer with a toy hauler is the grand design imagine series it's the xls model 24 mpr and um, it weighs about 6,200 pounds and it's about 30 feet long now, one of the really coolest features of this travel trailer toy hauler are the bunk beds in the toy hauler section. This is really kind of neat. I've never seen a bunk bed back here before. And this whole entire frame system folds flat up against the wall to give you maximum space in here to be able to bring in an ATV or a motorcycle or whatever it is you're towing around with you. You'll also notice out here in the garage area that there's a little sink to wash your hands. There's some storage area as well, so when you come in from a day of driving, at least you can wash your hands before you head into the rest of the travel trailer. And then it's got this really cool sliding glass door in, built into it as well, which separates the garage area from the rest of the travel trailer. So why don't we head in there next and take a look around inside. So I really like the design, the look, and the feel of this particular travel trailer. The cabinetry has a more modern design to it. It's just very stylish and elegant, and it's a travel trailer with a toy hauler, but it just looks and feels fantastic in here. The kitchen area is really an L-shaped kitchen. It's got this little extension that you can set up to give you more countertop space. The countertop material is a very pretty, light, durable material. It's got a big single bowl sink built in, gooseneck faucet, all kinds of storage over top. And then of course we have a three burner range, small oven down below, and a microwave oven above that. And a little further back, you've got your refrigerator and freezer, which are also, you know, blend in with all the cabinetry because they have the cabinet fronts built onto them as well. And then back here, you have additional pantry storage as well. So here I am standing in the shower of the bathroom and it's got a little skylight overhead which gives me some extra headroom, about three inches over my head. I'm about five feet, 11 inches tall. And uh, it's about a three foot wide shower, so decent amount of space in here. And then uh, over top of the vanity, it's got a medicine cabinet with an additional storage cabinet next to it. Nice, uh, the sink's a little small in my opinion, but it's here and it's got additional storage under that as well. On the left side, there's more storage space, and then you have your commode. Okay, so the living area in, in this particular travel trailer also functions as the bedroom. So it's a little bit different design, but you can see that you when you first come in the door, you've got your entertainment center right here. So you've got a TV, storage space above, you have some sound system equipment, and storage space down below. And across from that, you have this nice, comfy couch where you can sit and on each side of that couch it has an end table with storage underneath so it's a pretty nice setup in here now what's really unique about this particular travel trailer is that this area is also a Murphy bed so it doubles as your couch and also your bed and it's very easy to see how it works this just folds right out nice and easy there's a little clip here that holds the Murphy bed in place that comes right down and then you just pull your bed down which is already made by the way so that's kind of nice and then you have lighting under here as well so you can sit on the couch and watch TV at night you can lay in bed and watch TV at night very efficient use of space uh, we've got storage on both sides of the bed 
So they really maximize what's going on in here. And uh, I really like the setup. The only, only possible downside to it that I see is that the person sleeping on that side of the bed gets trapped over there. You can't really get out. So if somebody has to get up and use the bathroom in the middle of the night, they're gonna have to make the climb to the end of the bed. This person can get in and out though. So whoever goes more often probably needs to sleep on this side of the bed. <laughs> anyway, as usual, Grand Design does a great job with their designs and we really like this tro uh, toy hauler travel trailer. This travel trailer toy hauler is a Grand Design Momentum model number 29G. What that means is that it's got an 11 foot garage, which is fantastic. We just met a guy that owned a Harley and he said all the newer Harleys, you need to have an 11 foot garage for them to fit. The other nice thing is the width. You can fit an ATV and a motorcycle in here at the same time. So it's got plenty of space and it's also multifunctional. Obviously it's got two couches down below. You can put a table in between them and use it for a little dining area or the couches will lay out and become two beds and you have another bed over top as well. So when you don't have your toys in the toy hauler section, you can make this very, very multifunctional. It also opens up and the ramp itself can become a deck and you can see on both sides the deck rails mounted up against the back door of the garage section. Also in the garage area, there's a half bathroom located. So it makes cleaning up nice and easy after a day of running the trails. So when you come in from the garage, you enter right into the living and kitchen area. And this particular model is pretty efficiently built because it is 34 feet long. It weighs about 12,500 pounds. So they use every inch of space as efficiently as possible. But the kitchen area is a nice inline kitchen. So you have a big sink area with a nice deep sink, gooseneck faucet, of course, you have your three burner range, refrigerator, microwave, plenty of cabinet space all around. Right across from the kitchen is this really comfortable couch. You can just pop it right on out and relax. One thing we find a little unusual about this design is that there's really no dinette table in here. So it looks to us like the only place to eat would be out in the garage area, which is fine. I mean, toy haulers these days are made to be multifunctional and uh, this is no, no different from that at all. So you could sit out there on those couches, set up your dinette table, eat your meals out there and look right outside or enjoy the air from being screened in on, on uh, the garage area. So also right off the living area and the kitchen area is your entertainment center. You have your TV, radio, uh, all sorts of storage area as well. But a really nice feature that we like about this floor plan is you can enter into the bedroom on this side or you can enter into the bathroom here and the bathroom also has its own entrance into the bedroom so it's really kind of a cool layout so let's walk on through and check it out I really like the ceiling height in here too there's plenty of room over top of my head I'm 5'11 plenty of room over me for this shower to be comfy and, and really roomy and the bathroom itself is very large and then as we leave the bathroom, we walk right into the master bedroom. <laughs> it's a pretty good size master bedroom. It's got a short queen in here um, that's got some storage over top of the bed, a little bit of storage over here in this area and also along here. But there's really not a lot of storage in the bedroom. But they have this big giant mirror, which is kind of cool. The thing's really big. So let us know which travel trailer with a toy hauler you like the best by leaving us a comment down below. Maybe you even own a toy hauler travel trailer and you can let us know what that is and we can include that model in a future video. We'd love, love to check out what it is that you think is fantastic as well. And speaking of check it out, if you want to check out one of our other videos, just click right here. Please don't forget to leave us a thumbs up at the end of the video and also don't forget to subscribe so you can be notified every week when we put out a new video. So for Mike and Susan, we'll see you next time.